Um, in Aberdeen, we have come a long way in the last few years to develop the telecare service, but on reflection, we've really just touched the tip of the iceberg. The, there are a lot more people out there who don't know anything about telecare, both professionals and the general public. And as a team, we are, of course, really excited about telecare and what it can offer to the people of Aberdeen. But we just don't have the resources within the team to take this forward. So the, taking part in the programme really meant that we could dedicate some time and resources to moving forward the telecare service in Aberdeen. Last year um, in Aberdeen we had really very few referrals from the acute sector and most of them come from the occupational therapists. There were only three from other professionals in the acute sector. So we really felt we needed to target this area. Um, and in that case, we have set up two demonstrator wards within the acute hospitals, and we are proposing a third demonstrator ward in the, the psychiatric hospital. We've employed two OTs who are going to take forward raising awareness, training, and carrying out assessments um, within the acute sector. So this has been a very positive thing for us to raise the telecare agenda within the acute sector. We're also working with the housing teams and the, the local housing associations because again, they were a sector which we received very few referrals from. So we're actually looking at a project with one of the local housing associations to implement telecare within that, that um, building. The other part of the project was um, Alzheimer's Scotland have developed a new dementia resource centre in Aberdeen. So we have put telecare equipment into the resource centre and are working with them to develop training for both staff and raising awareness with their client group. We've received some additional funding to look at supplying telecare in interim um, care home beds and there will be a technician to support that. Um, I think it's ha being able to dedicate time to what we feel is a very worthwhile project and having the resources to do that. I think we've been able to learn from other partnerships and share our experiences with other partnerships, which has been really useful. Sharing ideas and experiences like our, our hospital poster and our storyboards have been really beneficial. Um, and I think the most important thing is seeing a steady increase in the referrals we're receiving um, means that we're on the right track, hopefully. And of course, hearing the, the success stories from our service users and their families make it all worthwhile. I think the tech programme is vital because it gives our um, public, our service users in Aberdeen, the choice and the opportunity to live independently and safely in their own homes. Most of all, it provides reassurance to them and their family members that if they need help in any way, that help is only a button away or the sensors will pick up that there is an, uh, an issue and it can be dealt with really quickly. Give it a try, come and see us. Um, ask for a demonstration if you're unsure. We are a team that are there to support you and to support the service users that you are working with. It's every professional's um, duty to make sure that their service user has the best possible solution to the issues that they are facing. Telecare can provide a lot of that. So if you're in any doubt at all, come and ask us, ask for a demonstration and we are there to help. My hopes for the future is that telecare becomes a normal part of everyday life, um, especially by the time that I'm going to need it. Um, I think there is the opportunity out there for telecare to support so many people and I welcome the funding that has come through this programme to allow us to take this forward.